Police say calls related to individuals experiencing a mental health crisis are spreading uh, officers thin. I'm AJ Douglas, your neighborhood reporter in Bainbridge. I talked to a police captain who told me a story where a wellness check escalated into a dangerous situation. When he turned, uh, tur was turning around with a knife in his hand, that's when I already had my taser out. A tense moment for Bainbridge Public Safety Captain Charles Strickland earlier this month. He was called to Hall Street for a routine call for a person experiencing a mental health crisis. Strickland says he knew he would have to use quick thinking to de-escalate threats of violence. Somebody with a knife can come at you very quick in a very sh short distance. Strickland, like other officers, have completed crisis intervention training, but he says more resources are needed, especially during times where officers must be present during the mental health evaluation. But that officer could be um, sitting with that individual for anywhere from two hours to three or four days. Leaders from Bainbridge Public Safety and the Decatur County Sheriff's Office have reached out to Georgia Pines to step in to bridge gaps when it comes to responding to reports from those experiencing a mental crisis. Uh, mental health crisis uh, therapists are basically trained to deal with those crises on those scenes. Robert Hearn is the executive director for Georgia Pines, which is a community resource that offers services to those living with mental health, substance abuse, intellectual or developmental disabilities. They are partnering with local law enforcement to expand the co-response program where licensed professionals aid officers during calls surrounding mental crisis. To kind of calm the situation down so there's no uh, any problems with uh, law enforcement having to get involved and arrest that individual. The co-responder program is already active in Thomas, Coquit, and Mitchell counties. The program expansion is dependent on approval grant funds from the Connect to Protect Law Enforcement Behavioral Health Response Program from the Bureau of Justice Assistance. Strickland says this would be well-received relief. The resources for city and county, we need, we need that and more. Hearn says it will be about three months before he knows the status of grant funds. If you or someone you know is searching for resources for mental health, follow this story at WTXL.TV. In Bainbridge, I'm AJ Douglas for ABC 27.